this right here is what uh, aesthetically pleasing thermally efficient powerhouse looks like. This right here is what a custom water cooled ITX mini gaming PC that is in need of some maintenance looks like. Frig. Don't, this, mm -hmm. don't say gaming. Gaming keeps throwing off your flow. Just yeah. say water cooled PC. This right here is what a custom water cooled PC that is in need of some loop maintenance looks like. I've dropped in on a good friend of mine, Tristan to follow along on some custom loop maintenance as well as provide some tips that you can use if you happen to own one of these aesthetically pleasing, thermally efficient powerhouses. I get to cringe and watch this back. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> bump it into you. So this video won't be going over the reasons why you may choose to build a water-cooled system. Uh, that will be reserved for a future video, so get subscribed to see that video when I decide to make it. What I will tell you is why ongoing maintenance in these systems is important, how to physically replace the coolant along with some tips and tricks regarding doing a thorough job. Uh, that will ensure that you'll get the most life out of your new coolant. There are a few main reasons why you need to keep up with replacing coolant in custom water-cooled systems. The most critical one is that specially formulated coolants for PC cooling contain anti-corrosion inhibitors and biocides to keep the inner workings of your loop clean, clear, and efficient when it comes to the heat transfer in and out of the fluid, as well as preventing any biological growth such as algae or other gunk from blocking up the tiny passages inside your loop that could block the fluid flow. Another reason why you may consider changing the fluid is if the physical appearance has changed. Maybe you once had like an electric vivid orange coolant and its colors changed over time from the heat and just breaking down. Now it's looking a little more of like a sad dull orange. Or maybe like in Tristan's case, you used the EK Mystic Fog and uh, it used to be a semi-transparent fluid and now it's changed to like more of like a weird clear color. It's no longer giving him the uh, visual effect that he was going for in the first place. So yeah, I, uh, I chose the, the Mystic Fog. I still have a little bit left uh, because I got the concentrate and my loop isn't that big. So I have a little bit left over, um, but I really went for it because with this build, I wanted to go for more of an industrial look. I didn't, didn't have a lot of RGB. Of course, I had the RGB capabilities, um, but even just the nice white, uh, the way that this diffused that light uh, really made me want to keep it. Um, but yeah, as time's kind of gone on while it's been working on projects, uh, it completely lost its translucent properties. Uh, so now I'm going to switch over to some purple because uh, that's one of my favorite colors. And uh, I think it'll be really nice. It's just, uh, yeah, completely different look. Yeah. So are you going to be in the shot or are you going to be out of the shot? I'm going to be out of the shot. Okay. Do keep in mind that even though EK's Mystic Fog can change its appearance rather quickly, the anti-corrosion and antibacterial inhibitors will still perform the same over the 12 months period, much like EK's other coolants. In fact, EK themselves even mentioned replacing the fluid every six months versus the typical 12 month period to maintain Mystic Fog's visual effects. What we think has happened is when the Mystic Fog turns clear, the light dispersing particles in this fluid end up sticking to the hottest surfaces in the loop, such as the CPU and GPU blocks. Once we open it up here in a minute, we'll see if that's true. This should be more apparent in my system due to the dense nature of an ITX system. Combined with high powered hardware and very demanding workloads, it has likely accelerated this process, leading to increased transparency in the coolant. Now that Tristan's done fully draining his loop, uh, he can start to remove and disassemble some of the key components that make up the loop. Whenever you have fallout or you suspect there's any kind of deposits inside the loop, it's a very good idea to carefully disassemble all the blocks or anywhere the fallout can hide uh, and clean it manually. This is usually done with a soft bristled brush and a little bit of dish soap and water for nickel plated or acrylic surfaces, which we will be mostly dealing with today. If your blocks are pure copper, then it's okay to use a little bit of vinegar or lemon juice to help clean them up. Just don't use these acidic cleaners on nickel plating or acrylic because it can damage them. That being said, if you're using a traditional coolant that is one that doesn't use suspended particles or even better yet, just a clear coolant, uh, then you may be able to get away with just draining the loop, flushing it with distilled water and refilling it. Also a quick note, now that we have the blocks open, some discoloration or oxidization isn't uncommon, but in EK's own internal testing, the extremely thin layer of oxidization is not enough to have any significant impact on heat transfer through the block into the coolant. 
It's been a few days since we last shot and now that the rads and blocks are clean I've reassembled the loop. While the system was apart I also swapped the graphics card from a 2080 Ti to an RTX Titan that came from my main system. While I had everything disassembled I also swapped out my two brown Noctua Slim fans to the black Chromax versions and replaced the front industrial PPC fan for another Slim Noctua fan. Now all that's left to do is give it a quick flush with some distilled water then we can put our new Indigo Violet EK coolant in. The system is back up and running, fully protected with fresh corrosion inhibitors that will keep this loop working at peak performance. We swapped out the EK Mystic Fog, which seemed to degrade rather quickly in this system for some vivid EK Purple Coolant. I guess time will tell how this holds up. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, be sure to drop us a like. Also, I have a few unique builds coming up in the near future, so get subscribed so you get those notifications when the videos are released. I hope to see you all back in the next one soon. Rip this editor, whoever's editing this. Isn't that you yourself? Yeah. Is this even on? Could you imagine? Oh, thank God. <laughs>